This week's episode is sponsored by the Brilliant Futures Institute. That's like saying, if it's difficult, then it's the wrong thing. If it's easy, then it's the right thing. I should be in flow all the time. This should be easy. If I'm feeling any resistance, then it's not my thing. If you're going to be successful, you're going to hit resistance after resistance after resistance, and you're only going to go as far as the resistance you push through. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. You cannot be a courageous leader if you're not vulnerable. Your legacy is every life you've touched. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. Now is the time to take risk. The way it's always been done isn't necessarily the way it should be done. What is your dream? What do you think 2050, 2100 is going to look like? The most incredible sort of mystery, I think, is now the question of what comes next. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew J. Peters. Visit preeminence.tv to learn more about how to create a preeminent presence for your business, organization, or personal brand. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or just ask Alexa to play the Preeminence Podcast. Timing is everything. It doesn't matter if you're spiritual, if you're religious, if you are agnostic or atheist, there is a time for everything. A lot of times people think that every door that they walk to should open, and if it doesn't, they're doing something wrong. That's like saying that if it's not easy, then it's the wrong thing. If it's difficult, then it's the wrong thing. If it's easy, then it's the right thing. I should be in flow all the time. This should be easy. If I'm feeling any resistance, then it's not my thing. I'll tell you one thing that if you're going to be successful, you're going to hit resistance after resistance after resistance, and you're only going to go as far as the resistance you push through. I was on an island, actually it was on Maui with a group of entrepreneurs, and I was talking to my mentor at the time, and he said, we're on the top of a volcano right now, and the only thing that's keeping that hot magma from us right now is the resistance between us. That magma has not push through the pressure to get all the way to the surface. And really that's as far as that magma is going to go until the pressure builds. And it's the same for you. You will never break through that next level if you just leave that level as your ceiling. You're not going to push through it. So yes, resistance is a part of success. I, I see so many people who think that if there's resistance, that's not their calling. That's not their path. They are not being blessed by God. The, the stars aren't in alignment. You're going to face tough stuff every single day when you are pushing through to that next level. If you are coasting, usually you don't coast very long. Imagine being in a car. The only time you coast for a long distance is if it's downhill. All right, if you want to go somewhere down the road, it's not through coasting. It's through consistent effort every day. You got to push through. There's going to be times where you're going uphill, times you're going downhill, times you're going to be going straight, times you're going through the mountains and the valleys. That's all a part of it. So don't think that because a door is closed, you need to stop knocking. Sometimes that window is open for you to see that opportunity and know that you need to keep moving toward it, need to keep that vision going. There's sometimes, I love this, I just read this today, a guy posted saying that I'm not building a skyscraper, I'm building a pyramid. And the pyramid, if you think about it, it starts out much wider than the skyscraper this high rise, right? So you're building this huge foundation, but that foundation is going to keep that pyramid for thousands and thousands of years standing. But that skyscraper left for a few hundred years unattended is going to fall. So when you're building something, know that the foundation, the key part of everything you're building is going to take time. Don't think that every part of your business is going to be fast. When I hired a new coach for my sales, they gave me some breakthroughs and those breakthroughs helped me make a lot of money really fast. So the first month, it was like 45 days, I made 25,000 and then I made uh, 30,000 a month, then 45,000, then I hit an $80,000 a month, then I did $130,000 and $117,000 and and. I saw all this money coming in and what happens is we get used to all this money coming in. But the thing is, I was not 
building a foundation. I was just running through whatever is just the, the crops that were in that harvest right now. I stopped planting seeds. And we need to build a foundation that is solid, that we're going to know that it's going to be there as our legacy, our living legacy. And after we're gone, that legacy is going to continue to have strength, that we are not building this alone. So timing is everything. And we are looking at the long term, not the short term. So many people will sell you on the short term and you're going to have these short term gains. But guess what? I know people who have had the short term gains and there's a huge drop off. There's a cliff that we all go off of if we just do things for the short term. We cash in everything, all of our chips, they're all cashed in and now we're left empty because we're asking for withdrawals. We need to be making deposits out into the community, deposits of value every day, every week, whatever we can. We want to keep on making deposits because the times we ask for the withdrawal, we have the ask or the sale. We ask for the sale. We need, we need to have put a lot of deposits out there. We build the reciprocity through giving value time after time after time. Our reputation is we give value for free. We give value for very little money and that reciprocity builds. We put so much out in the community that when we ask, people want to become a part of what it is we're building. That does not come overnight. Timing is everything. We have to have the long term, the long time approach, that evergreen approach. Yes, it's great to be timely in our media, make sure we're relevant, but also have that timeless nature. The pyramid is timeless. It has a grand design to it. It has function beyond just the appearances. So are you going to see resistance? Are you going to feel it almost every day? I can guarantee yes. Even when times are easy, you're going to have customer service issues that are going to challenge you. You're going to have staffing issues that are going to challenge you. You're going to have communication issues that are going to challenge you. As you grow, the challenges get more and more difficult, but you've risen to that occasion. You've busted through that much resistance to get to that point. You're going to be bigger to be able to handle that stuff. And you're only going to grow to that point where you feel that resistance is just a little too much for you to handle and you're going to stay right there where you're comfortable. But it's that discomfort that we keep pushing through that we're going to grow and grow and grow and we're going to build something that is going to have tremendous value in the world. We're going to be able to change lives for the better. We're going to better the lives. We're going to better humanity. We're going to better the planet, our industry. We're going to shift things to light and life and freedom and bring more good than uh, our competition is. And that's where we're going to be standing out. Timing is everything. Know that when a door is closed, that doesn't mean you need to stop knocking. When you feel the resistance, know that's just a part of the journey. You're going to make it if you keep going every day. Thank you for listening to the Preeminence Podcast. Subscribe to hear powerful interviews and insights each week automatically downloaded the moment they go live. Share this episode with your team, your friends, and post it on social media. Let us know your comments and suggestions for the show at m at ascend.net. That's the letter M at ASYND.net. dot